from a person who discovered rhythm from a guitar and harmonica on the side of a sideshow, never begging for your attention, although you pay respect, homage, gratuity. Somebody who discovered blues with a guitar and harmonica, only telling a story out of a million stories. For some reason, you paid attention to this one. You travel this way every day. You, you, never, you never pay attention to this person. But this day, it's just the rhythm of that harmonica, guitar, and the blues from a story out of a million stories where you paid attention. Was it the experience in your life that you experienced a moment ago of actually having a display of something that nobody ever showed you from a drama that was previously considered gossip and propaganda? of something that was completely out of control. Now a person who has two instruments and a story out of a million shows you normalcy from something that was chaotic just a moment ago. Now you realize something that was a telegraph obstacle from a fiber optic cable. Oh, previously it was copper, copper wire, a great conductor of electricity. If somebody doesn't make you realize or appreciate the standard of original metallics. You'll give it all away for some type of phenomenon that just got here today. Why? Because you're a cyberspace junkie. You turn off your cell phone right now. Disconnect your cell phone to all your devices. And I want you to listen to this guitar and harmonica that produces no sound. There's a man sitting there. He has a million stories. And for the last million days, you never listened to any of them. You thought he was the worst man in the world. And every other story was more powerful than this one. But for some reason, you're listening to it. And guess what that tells the world who thinks logically outside of you? There's a very small majority of people. That your scenario that means nothing compared to 999,999 stories that this man has been telling you every day that you never paid attention to, the most irrelevant one you thought was important. Not because you thought it was important, no, only because you had a bad day. Would you call yourself selfish? No, you wouldn't, because you're just that indulged into yourself, and there's nothing wrong with that. Why? With self-preservation. How can you take care of somebody else if you're not taking care of yourself? And I want you to remember this. Now that you're reaching out to this man and he's playing a song that's the least of all the songs that he sings, don't give away everything to him just because you're feeling the wrath of the Gospels. <laughs>